everybody, my name is Chris Shard Longster Bob Bob for Theme Park News and welcome to another discussion video, a Theme Park News update from Thought Park Resort. Now, we did a video on Saturday Night Kiss FM with their Thought Park launch party and I got a comment saying that a teaser was revealed um, sort of after that news was announced and I was right. So, it's nothing to do with the teasers. Uh, I'm not taking the video down, God no. Uh, you know, it's news. I just thought it was, but now that we know there's a teaser revealed after that announcement, obviously I didn't know at that point because I recorded it beforehand, um, you know, we can sort of discuss five teasers. Now, there is one sort of main coaster that hasn't been involved in the teaser campaign yet, and that is, of course, Saw the Ride. Now, I want to talk about Saw the Ride a little bit later, but before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family, and on social media. Make sure you uh, get your questions in for the Q&A session to celebrate 1,500 subs. Get your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question, and mark them down. If you get a reply saying thanks for your question, you'll know that I've marked them down. So, let's get on with this discussion video. So I'm going to be looking at all five teas that have been released so far. And of course, any more new teas that get revealed, I'll be bringing it to you uh, a little bit later in future dates for Theme Park Newsroom. So, let's have a look first of all then at teaser number one. Now, we've already looked at this in a previous video. Uh, so, on your screen now. Fanda Bedorsi, system initializing was the tagline for this first one. It's a glitchy stealth, uh, and we all got the hint, you know, is you know, stealth, is that gonna be the um you know the the ride for refurbishment or re-theme, maybe like a futuristic re-theme. But of course we got the uh, second teaser on your screen now, Fanda Bedorsi, and that's the uh, Valentine's Day themed teaser with a glitchy nemesis inferno heart uh, merging photo. You know, do thrill seekers have an infl thrill seekers? Do you have an infinite love for roller coasters or something like that? Was the tagline uh, for that one. Uh, moving into image number uh, two, or <laughs> or for the English people, three on your screen now. Find out with The tagline for that was, let's face it, stealth is the best coaster in the UK. Double tap if you agree. On Instagram, of course, I'm reading this off Instagram. Uh, so. You know, again, another stealth teaser, but it was very interesting that they did tease stealth twice. Uh, then, of course, they released a Colossus one on your screen now, with Monday's got us feeling like, and of course, like a dopey emoji uh, with it as well. Uh, now, of course, the fifth and final teaser, just after the, the announcement of the launch party in association with KISS FM Radio, Saturday Night KISS, fly, f flying into Friday like, dot, 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 who else that ha else has that hashtag Friday feeling? And that was released a few days ago on your screen now. Fan da b do c. Uh, and yeah, that was the teasers. So uh, one big thing with, with all of them is the hashtag Thought Park, um, but with some of the letters being capitals. Um, now, of course, that's been a big thing. Um, now, I'm I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think that the hashtag Thought Park thing going on was, you know, an interesting one. I think that was an interesting one. Uh, now, of course, looking into the capital letters that were highlighted with the Toa, uh, something to do with rotating on an axis and an automobile moving. So there's real there's a real sense of um, excitement, like hidden excitement, like we're not expecting anything massive this year, so if it's initialised in 2020 then we're not expecting anything massive. We heard that Jungle Escape is coming back, however there have been people on Monk's Walk saying that it's been painted black and grey at the back, so again that raises some questions over whether it's going to be like a re-theme of Jungle Escape, you know, is it coming back in a new form? Uh, still, even though it is coming back listed on the website, so we don't know exactly for sure. It could be just maintenance painting, it could be just something to make it look uh, like nothing special at the back. You know, it could be something just additional. Uh, but, uh, it has raised some questions. Now the whole TOA, uh, putting together the capital letters to make TOA, uh, with the automobile moving and of course rotating on an axis. People have been saying things like, you know, are they going to possibly invest in their next coaster in the next few years and it being an axis coaster by SNS. That would be cool, I'm not going to lie, but I don't think we're looking at that at this case. I think we are looking at a coaster in the next few years, but 
I think we need to wait a while because it might not be until 2023, 2024 when we get this coaster. So I think fans need to be a little bit more patient uh, and we will get that dream coaster at Thorpe Park very, very soon. Obviously Alton Towers, they're going to probably invest in Secret Weapon 9 before that. Uh, Chessington I'm sure will invest in the coaster in the future as well. Uh, but I think there's real potential here that Thorpe Park could be in line for a new coaster in the next few years. Now. Um, based on those teasers, it looks like they're going to be doing something or teasing something that's going to happen in the summer. So it looks like it could be another event year, which, to be fair, I'm not too surprised about and I'm not even angry about. Because I've, I, it's great that Thor Park are putting on these events and sort of getting people, more people into the park and getting these people involved in these events. You look at uh, 2019, Game Effects, obviously video games and gaming, you know, that's a big thing at the minute. So... It's been a big thing for a few years, for, for a number of years. So, you know, putting gaming into a theme park, I know a lot of people were quite skeptical about that. You know, I was a little bit skeptical as well. Um, you know, people, you know, who wants to play a video game at a theme park? But, you know, for those of you who are scared of roller coasters or don't really like the rides, and you sort of, you know, be, if you're being forced to go for a day out and you don't want to, you can just go in the Game Effects Hub. You know, it, it, it's for those type of people that don't really want to experience the park and just want to play on a game console. You know, you know that's the kind of thing we were looking at there. Bouncezilla, that was actually a surprisingly, uh, re, you know, re, great addition. You know, a lot of people were, again, skeptical of a Bouncy Castle being added to Thorpe Park. But I think it went down a storm. I think loads of people were really happy about it, especially with the extreme edition with the added water guns. Uh, I saw some uh, footage from that, and it looks quite fun. So I was kind of sad not to get it last year. Uh, so if it's coming back, if it's coming back this year, or it's coming back the year after, I might look at getting that in at some point. Uh, Jungle Escape, we you know that's coming back uh, this year. Um, you know that was quite that, that was all right at first, and then it sort of got better towards the end of its lifespan. Um, you know, and of course they were teasing Fright Nights on the announcement of the events last year as well. So I think that there's a real, um, you know, there was it was Fright Nights was definitely better uh, this year than the previous. Uh, well, 2019 than 2018. It was definitely better in 2019 than 2018. Fright Nights uh, from the reviews that I saw. Obviously, Vulcan Pete wasn't there, so I think that's why a lot of people were excited about 2019 rather than 2018. Um, but I think the Thought Park overall were all right with the events here. I think a lot of people were skeptical, but some of the events turned out to be better than what we first thought. And I think some of us can agree with that. Game effects, I don't think people will care if that's coming back or not. It doesn't look like it is, so that's going to be located somewhere else in London because they do a game effects every year. I know they did it somewhere else in London the previous year before Thought Park, so it was good. It, Thought Park, I think, was up for that year partnership with the owners of GameFX, so I think that uh, they just want to bring the events somewhere with a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, so it's just a one-year thing with GameFX, it looks like. Um, now, of course, Jungle Escape, that was a big success, especially, you know, continuing on through the weeks of its uh, time at the park uh, during its months. Bouncilla, again, a huge success, bigger than we thought it would ever be. Uh, you know, it was a great success for all the family. Uh, obviously, we know that Thorpe uh, could be investing in thrill investments. Uh, with the, we know there've been there's been talks that they're going to be taking a new direction where they invest in families as well. And I think that's a good start. I think an escape room attraction, you know, and a bounce a bounce Zillow, especially with the bounce Zillow extreme edition as well. I think that's a good start for family investments. Now, of course, we can't wait to see what the next thrill investment is going to be. Now, of course, another thing to link with the TOA, the hashtag TOA, uh, with the capital letters put together, uh, rotating on an axis. Uh, now, the automobile might not seem to be, might not matter. It could be one of those definitions. If it's the axis one, there's been a lot of people possibly hinting that Slammer could return. Now, of course, Slammer is a SNS sky swap uh, that closed back in 2017 after years of operation, uh, a few years of maintenance troubles, and I think it finally had its time. Personally, I don't think it's coming back. However, I wouldn't be against if, if, if it was coming back because Slammer is a great ride. I think, you know, s, &S are bringing out these new coaster concepts. I think if they bring out a new modernised SkySwap complex and sort of replace the parts with newer SkySwap model parts, shall we say, if they bring out a new SkySwap model and replace it and just paint it up to look like the old one, 
uh, kind of like, like, like what you see with Al Alton Towers, you know, they replaced the original Enterprise model from 1986 way back in 2013 with a brand new modern, of course, that's been refurbished extensively uh, into the summer of last year. And of course it reopened with the new green Ministry of Joy paint scheme uh, around the queue line, so... You know, Enterprise Old Towers has been through the mill. You know, why can't SNS, you know, refurbish one of their old concepts into a brand new SkySwap concept? So I think it's not against. Uh, I know, I know, I've, I know, I've heard things that you know, Slammer can't be removed from the part because it's in a, a joint deal with Rush, so Rush has to go uh, for Slammer to be removed. So I think that the park will probably try and. I think instead of removing Rush and Slammer at the same time, they'd rather just wait for Russia's time to come or they could get SNS to do a modernized sky swap behind the scenes and replace the parts and operate Slammer again as a brand new ride. Now I think if Slammer was to come back, I think again with the system initializing, you know, initializing a brand new lease of life to this attraction potentially. Uh, and I think if they were to bring back Slammer, I think it would be repainted, I think it would be rethemed, I think it would be renamed. It would be a complete new look Slammer uh, with brand new design and brand new marketing strategy for the ride and everything. So, I think, But I think if we were to see that, we would have seen it by now. So I don't think Slammer's coming back. Uh, but and you know, There's been people still talking that Ramesses Revenge could go to Thought Park. Personally, I don't think I'd see that unless it was for next year, for 2021 as a new flat ride. But again, where would it go? Maybe if Bouncilla's not coming back, maybe they could put it on that site potentially and possibly build a good site for a top spin. So again, it, it, it's just a case of when. I, just, I think it's just a case of when and what. Uh, now, Thought Park, we don't know when they're going to make the announcement about 2020, but of course when they do, we'll bring out a video for you guys. But that's just some of my theories and sort of theories that I've discovered. But... Um, you know, what are your thoughts? What are your theories? Comment your thoughts and theories down below. I'd love to read them, reply to them. You know, I reply to every single comment. And for now, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to see no miss YouTube video. Keep it on the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have a nice day.